Today was horrible. The basketball team, which I play for, just got back from an out-of-town game. All the players were on separate buses trying to make it back to school, and there was this big storm raging through Venice Beach. I heard later that one of the buses had crashed. Man, how much I'd hoped Omar had been on that bus. So, I was the first to get back. The sun was coming down, and it looked like it was going to fall out of the sky for a second. My bus pulled up and everyone was sitting there, Debbie, my girl Amelia, and Monty, the school principal. As soon as they saw a bus pull up, their faces got all tense, right? I could tell that everyone was tremendously let down when I showed up. But then Simon got off the bus and started greeting everyone, kissing hands and whatnot. And I see the guy kiss Amelia's hand. As this was going on, another bus pulls up. Everyone got super excited when Omar got off the bus. With his leather bar shitty jacket on, wielding this huge monster trophy in his hand holding it up in the air like an idiot. Simon continues to lick literally everyone's hand. And then I saw it. I saw him holding Debbie's hand. Big mistake. Debbie's Omar's girl, by the way. I know they weren't together. Simon's too much of a pushover. But I saw it as the perfect opportunity to get Omar to think that Debbie and Simon are together. Omar's a super jealous guy, and this would really piss him off. I go over to the guy and bump into him. Hey, I don't like that. Pointing him over to the sight of Simon and Debbie, holding hands really briefly. At that point, he blew it off like Simon being polite, which was just, which was what was actually happening. But the whole idea would later really get to him. Everyone leaves and heads off to, Cy to Cyprus for this weekend-long bash Omar and the rest of the student council had planned, which I was cheated on being a part of because Simon took my rightful spot as VP under Omar. But whatever. I had to stay behind because guess who I saw sitting in the corner pouting? Rod, who was paying me to get him to get with Debbie. So I went over to talk to the guy. Tell him what I needed him to do, and he had to start a fight with Simon at the bash in Cypress City this weekend. Then he started bitching about not being strong enough, and didn't want to do it, but I lied and told him he needed to get Simon out of the picture. He bought it, so I left. So when everything works out to plan, I'll be able to get with Debbie myself. Because I really think that Omar seduced Amelia. Now I'll get him back for it. Girlfriend for girlfriend. Uh, I gotta go back for Cyprus. So, until Cyprus. So we've already been in Cyprus for a day now. The party last night was killer. Simon was there all buddy-buddy with Monty, and Simon had this big gold goblet that he was sipping from, and he was supposed to keep everything at the party in order and had to be clear-headed the entire time, which uh, Simon is a bit of a problem with. So the dude set down his drink on the table behind him, and I may or may not have drugged his drugged it. After he slurped down the whole thing, he got into some intense high-speed dancing. I pointed Rod in the guy's direction so he could push him around a little bit to get Simon kicked out. Rod and Simon start going at it, fists flying everywhere, and Monty steps in and gets punched out by Simon. Everyone at the party was staring by that point. I was falling out of my chair, laughing my ass off, making sure Rod got out of there before he was blamed for it. So in short, Omar had rushed back from all the celebrating him and Debbie were doing in ye old bathroom to kick Simon off the team, the student council, and not to mention the party. So in the midst of all the chaos I caused, I try to get out of there as fast as possible. Oh, and my my way out, I see a super pissed beaten up Rod stomping towards me. I'm like, oh crap. The guy told me that he was really distraught, not to mention out of money. I told him to go home, back to Venice. So... What day is it today? In hopes to get his VP spot back, the hopeless, pathetic, finally sober Simon sends a serenade of apologies to Omar's balcony. But the guy wasn't there, so Amelia got Debbie to come out and talk to Simon at my request. Debbie comes out and makes all these promises, and she ends up leaving Dome back to Omar's room. Yours truly was listening by the door. She was begging the guy to let Simon back, but the dude just blew her off, and she ran out of the room like every other over overly emotional teen I know and dropped her silk scarf. That I remember was Omar's first present to her. On her way out, I picked it up to prove to Omar that Simon and Debbie had been together all along. I came back to Omar's room to ask if he was okay, but he didn't respond. I told him that jealousy is a horrible monster that could kill anyone, but he didn't know what the hell I was talking about. So I indirectly told him that Debbie and Simon had been going at it together for a while. He demanded proof, so I made up this whole story. And I told him that I found Debbie's scarf that he gave her in Simon's bedroom, which I would later plant there, but still, the guy believed every word I said and was super pissed. 